33-year-old Victor Gomez is behind bars after allegedly bludgeoning his 30-year-old girlfriend Carmen Lopez Barahona to death with a hammer. The attack occurred at around 6.30pm on the 10th of September in the 200 block of Lieutenant Zamorski Drive in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Surveillance footage captured Victor exiting the apartment at 7pm, wearing blue shorts and red sandals, and fleeing the scene in his minivan. At around 2am on the 11th of September, the authorities responded to the apartment after a resident returned home from work to find the apartment covered in blood and coming inside a closet barely alive, suffering from significant blunt force trauma to her head. When officers arrived at the residence, they found Carmen unresponsive, and she was declared dead at the scene, and Victor was identified as a suspect in the homicide. Later that evening, Victor was found inside his vehicle wearing the same clothes as on the video, near the corner of Harrison Place and Kearney Avenue in Perth Amboy. They recovered the hammer allegedly used in the murder, and he was taken into custody. During an interview, Victor told investigators he killed Carmen by repeatedly beating her over the head with a hammer. He then moved her body into a closet and made some attempt to tidy the scene before taking off in his vehicle. The authorities said that after the murder, Victor changed into shorts and sandals and left his jeans and tennis shoes behind in the home. The motive of the attack is unknown. Victor is charged with first degree murder and two counts of unlawful possession of a weapon. He's held at the Union County Jail without bail and is scheduled to appear in court on the 26th of October. An Alabama bus driver was arrested after driving under the influence while taking 40 students to school. Franklin County Sheriff Shannon Oliver said they received a call in the morning of the 16th of September about a school driver, identified as 58-year-old Rhonda Barksdale, driving erratically. Before deputies arrived, a concerned motorist identified as Heather Malone was taking her kids to school. She pulled out in front of the bus and forced it to stop. Shannon said the concerned mother boarded the bus, thinking Rhonda was having a medical emergency, but discovered something else was wrong. The mother said that Rhonda's speech was slurred, and the kids on the bus were terrified. Officers gave Rhonda a field sobriety test, which Shannon said she failed. Rhonda was arrested and charged with driving under the influence, and 40 counts of reckless endangerment, one count for each of the students on board the bus. Shannon said the students were on their way to Tharptown Elementary and High Schools. None of them were injured, he said. Shannon said they were still awaiting the blood test results on Rhonda. Franklin County School Superintendent Greg Hamilton issued the following statement concerning the arrest. I'm very thankful that no student or person was injured today due to the ongoing criminal investigation and privacy rights. I will not be making any further comments. On the 8th of September, Madison Conley and Byron Hines, both 24 of Fort Wayne, Indiana, were each charged with six counts of neglect of a dependent after a child in their care died and for the conditions three other children were living in earlier this year. Court documents reveal that the child, whose name and age had not been identified, died from pneumonia. It says an autopsy found the child's death was preventable if proper medical care had been provided, noting neglect. The authorities were called to an apartment in the 2100 block of Hobson Road at 12.35am on the 1st of May, on report of a child not breathing. When first responders arrived, they performed CPR on the child who was pronounced dead at the scene at 12.49am. Investigators reported an overwhelming smell of urine coming from the apartment, numerous cats inside along with sticky floors, feces smeared on the walls, dirty dishes piled high, full garbage bags throughout the apartment, and unsecured firearms within reach of the children. There was breathing equipment in the home, and the Department of Children's Services advised that there was a previous allegation that the children in the home were not provided proper medical care. Police said they spoke with Madison, who said that she and Byron were the caregivers of four children who lived in the home. Madison said she checked on the victim at around 4.30am, and when she woke up later at around 12.30pm, she said the child was unconscious. She told police that she had cystic fibrosis, and that there was a flu bug going around the house. The child had a special high-frequency vest that was used as part of the treatment of cystic fibrosis, but the victim didn't like it, so she didn't use it. The Department of Children's Services said they conducted an investigation in 2021 and created a treatment plan for the children that both caretakers signed off on. The investigation into the matter continues. 59-year-old Bonnie Vaughan has been arrested in connection with her husband's murder and his daughter's boyfriend is charged with trying to get rid of the body. At around 9pm on the 20th of September, the authorities responded to the couple's home at 5635 Stonepath Drive 
in Middletown, Ohio, to complete a welfare check when they found the dismembered body of Jeffrey Fellman in the garage. The authorities said that 34-year-old John Havens came to the Middletown Division of Police and confessed to the crime, but told officers that Bonnie fatally shot her husband the previous day. John told the investigators that Bonnie picked him up at his residence and asked him if he could help her dispose of a body. He said that when he arrived, he found his girlfriend's father's corpse, which he dismembered with a handsaw. John was taken into custody and charged with abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence. Bonnie fled the scene of the crime, but was later found inside a car at Middletown gas station and was arrested and charged with murder. A judge set Bonnie's bond at $1 million and John's was set at $15,000.